Let's get right into it. Number 8. Embarrassment Amnesia Ever had that moment where you called your teacher mom in front of the whole class? At the time, it felt like your world was ending. But now, years later, you can probably laugh about it. That's your brain's secret protection system at work. When something embarrassing first happens, your brain cranks that emotional dial up to maximum. It's like an alarm system screaming social danger. Don't do that again. But your brain doesn't leave that alarm blaring forever. Over time, it slowly turns down the volume on those memories. Like a smart DJ who knows exactly when to fade out the cringe. Scientists have found that this isn't just random. If we remembered every embarrassing moment with full emotional force, we'd never leave our rooms. Instead, your brain gradually transforms these memories. It has a clever system where it keeps the lesson, but dumps the emotional baggage. Every time you remember that embarrassing moment, your brain actually rewrites the memory a little bit, as if saying, hey, maybe it wasn't that bad. The really cool part? This happens while you sleep. Your brain works overtime at night, like a tiny editor or a personal PR team working the night shift softening those sharp edges and spinning embarrassing moments into funny stories. It takes those super emotional memories and slowly strips away the intense feelings. Your brain basically turns your most embarrassing moments into your best party stories. It's your brain's way of saying, you're gonna mess up sometimes. And that's okay. Because if we remembered every awkward moment in full HD emotional quality, we'd never try anything new. Number 7. The Fainting Reflex Imagine you're at a family dinner and your cousin decides to show everyone his nasty paper cut. Suddenly, everything goes black. You wake up face down in your mashed potatoes. What just happened? Your brain hit its own panic button. When something really intense happens, like seeing blood, experiencing extreme stress, or getting overwhelmed with emotion, your brain goes nope, not dealing with this, and pulls the emergency brake. It's like your brain has a built-in circuit breaker. When things get too intense, it literally shuts down the power. Deep in your neck, there's a super important nerve called the vagus nerve. When stressed, this nerve tells your heart to slow down and your blood pressure to drop faster than your phone's battery life. With less blood flowing to your brain, you temporarily shut down. But this isn't your brain malfunctioning. It's a super smart defense mechanism that evolved over millions of years, like your brain's version of turning a computer off and on again when it freezes. Your body gently lowers you to the ground, which actually helps get blood flowing back to your brain. The whole thing usually lasts just a few seconds. A quick timeout. About one in three people will experience this at least once in their life. Back in our caveman days, this reflex might have saved our ancestors from experiencing extremely traumatic events. Your brain isn't betraying you. It's actually trying to be your bodyguard. Just in a really dramatic way. Number 6. Hindsight Bias Imagine you're watching the season finale of your favorite show. The big plot twist hits. And suddenly you're like, I totally saw that coming. But did you really? Or is your brain playing tricks on you? This is called hindsight bias, and it's your brain's way of making you feel smart and in control, like a fortune teller after things have already happened. Your brain has this sneaky way of rewriting history. When something unexpected happens, your brain quickly goes through your memories like it's editing a movie. It cuts out all the scenes where you were confused or uncertain. Then it adds in little clues that weren't actually there before. Suddenly, that shocking plot twist or that sports team's loss you knew was coming, seems totally obvious. It actually changes how you remember things. After something happens, it's like having an editor that goes back and changes the story to make you look better. Let's say you invest in some stocks that end up crashing. After the crash, your brain will convince you that you saw all the warning signs. Your brain does this to protect your ego and help you feel more in control of your life. This mental magic trick helps keep you confident enough to keep making decisions. Because if we remembered how often we were wrong, or how uncertain every decision really was, we'd probably never make another choice again. But here's the downside. When you think you knew it all along, you miss out on learning from your mistakes. You might keep making the same bad decisions because you think you had perfect judgment all along. So next time you find yourself saying, I knew it, maybe take a second to wonder if you really did. Your brain might just be trying to make you feel better about being as clueless as the rest of us. Number 5. Focus Tunnels Imagine you're driving down a busy highway when suddenly a car swerves into your lane. In that split second, something wild happens in your brain. Everything around you fades away, except for that one threat. The radio music disappears, the conversation with your passenger goes silent, and your peripheral vision shrinks. This isn't your brain malfunctioning, it's a survival superpower, an ancient system. When your brain detects danger, 
it puts on blinders to everything else, narrowing your attention down to just what matters right now. It's like your brain is saying, just deal with this. This happens because in life or death situations, multitasking could get you killed. Think about our ancient ancestors running from predators. If they got distracted, they wouldn't survive. During these moments, people report some pretty bizarre things. Some say all the background noise just disappears, like your brain's version of noise-canceling headphones. Others swear time slows down, like they're in some kind of action movie. It's not just your vision that tunnels. Your hearing does too. But here's the twist. Your brain can't tell the difference between actual danger and modern stress. Whether you're facing a charging bear or a tough work presentation, your brain hits the same panic button. That's why during heated arguments, you might completely miss what the other person is saying. This tunnel vision isn't always helpful in our modern world. Sometimes it makes us miss important details or alternative solutions. Next time you find yourself in a stressful situation and the rest of the world just disappears, your brain is just trying to keep you alive the only way it knows how. Number 4. The Brain's Delete Button Your brain is like a super advanced computer that's constantly running cleanup programs in the background. Instead of storing everything like a digital hoarder, your brain has a secret weapon, a delete button that's always working. Every single day, your mind gets hit with thousands of tiny details. The exact shade of your coffee mug, the pattern on your neighbor's shirt, or that random song playing in the grocery store. If your brain kept all of this stuff, it would be like trying to find your keys in a room filled floor to ceiling with random junk. Your brain isn't just passively forgetting these things, it's actively choosing to delete them. It's like your brain is a gardener, constantly pruning away the dead leaves so the important stuff can grow better. This delete button kicks into overdrive when you sleep. While you're dreaming, your brain is busy sorting through the day's memories, like a cleanup crew that comes in at night. The important stuff gets filed away safely. Everything else gets tossed in the mental trash bin. That's why you feel mentally clearer after a good night's sleep. Your brain literally spring-cleaned itself. Back when our ancestors were running around trying not to get eaten by predators, they needed to remember important stuff like which berries were safe or which caves had angry bears. They didn't need to remember the exact shade of every leaf they saw. Your brain still works the same way, constantly deleting the fluff so you can focus on what matters. It's literally protecting you from yourself by making you forget. Number 3. Yesterday's News Filter Imagine walking into your favorite coffee shop. The smell of fresh coffee hits you, the music plays, and the chatter of people feels noticeable. But wait a few minutes, and suddenly none of that bothers you anymore. Those background noises start to fade away in your mind. Your brain just saved you from going crazy, using what scientists call habituation. Basically your brain's spam filter for sensory information. It's like having a bouncer for your brain, that looks at each piece of information and goes, seen it, seen it, oh wait, this is new, think about wearing a watch or rings, at first you really notice them on your skin, but after a while your brain goes, nothing dangerous here, moving on, and filters it out, it's like your brain has a mark as read button for sensations that don't matter anymore, without this filter, you'd go crazy from sensory overload, you'd notice every piece of clothing touching your skin, Every tiny sound would grab your attention. Instead, your brain says, let's focus on what's new and important. That ticking clock filtered out. But if it suddenly stops ticking, your brain immediately notices. It's like having a security guard who ignores the regular employees, but spots the new guy instantly. This filter works even when you're sleeping. Ever notice how you can sleep through a thunderstorm at home, but the tiniest unfamiliar noise in a hotel room wakes you up instantly? That's because your brain has filed away all the usual noises. Anything new or different gets flagged as breaking news. It's like your brain has its own news agency, deciding what's worth paying attention to. Number 2. Impulse Breaks Your brain has a tiny bouncer working 24-7, stopping your dumbest ideas from reaching the dance floor of consciousness. This bouncer lives in your prefrontal cortex, the brain's safety manager, basically the responsible adult in your head. It's constantly filtering out potentially dangerous impulses before they even reach your conscious mind. Think about it like having an invisible guardian angel that works at the speed of thought. Sometimes when you're angry, you might feel the urge to say something mean. But before that thought fully forms, your brain's bouncer steps in and says, Not today. That wasn't just willpower. It was your brain's automatic safety system kicking in. The system works so fast that you don't even know it's happening. Scientists can actually see this in brain scans. Your prefrontal cortex lights up when it's stopping these impulses. Researchers discovered this system works even when you're not paying attention. 
In experiments, they showed people images so quickly that no one could consciously see them, but their brains still responded and adjusted their behavior accordingly. It's like having a super smart spam filter that catches dangerous emails before they even hit your inbox. Your brain is basically running millions of tiny safety checks every second, constantly asking, would this be a terrible idea before you even get the chance to think about it? This system is so good at its job that most truly terrible impulses never even make it to your conscious awareness. So next time you avoid doing something silly or manage to not tell your boss exactly what you think, thank your brain's invisible bouncer. Number one, the eye stabilizer. Imagine walking down a busy street, dodging people left and right, your head bobbing with each step. Yet somehow, the world doesn't look like shaky camera footage from a bad action movie. That's because your brain has a built-in camera stabilizer that's better than anything Hollywood has invented. It's called the vestibulo-ocular reflex, and it's constantly working to keep your vision steady. Every time you move your head, your eyes automatically move in the exact opposite direction at the exact same speed. It's like having a tiny gyroscope in your head that's constantly adjusting your eyeballs. This system is so precise that it can correct your vision in less than the blink of an eye. Your eyes actually have two different ways of tracking things. There's smooth pursuit for when your eyes glide along smoothly, like watching a car drive by, and saccades, super quick eye movements that happen when your brain needs to catch up with something that changed direction suddenly. Without this system, just walking down the street would make you feel like you're watching a video shot by someone running with their phone. Driving would be impossible. Riding a bike would be a serious challenge. And even trying to read a book would be like trying to focus on words during an earthquake. So next time you're moving around and the world is in a blurry mess, thank your brain's invisible camera crew working overtime. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.